Brilliant Garden 188 had this fantastic idea to have a fast food spot that sold frozen meals already cooked. Like you can order a heated up hot pocket, toaster strudel, chicken pot pie, etc. Someone follows up and says that would be called an Applebee's. This is a truth that burns but is still cold on the inside. This should be a fun episode. Stick around to hear more ideas that people have had when they were drunk or high. Welcome back to Redditainment. For today's episode of Ask Reddit Mondays, we are looking at a thread titled, Have you ever been drunk or high? And came up with this truly amazing idea but then became sober and realized it wasn't as amazing as you thought it was. If so, what was the idea? Let's jump right into the comments with the first one saying, A friend of mine called me around 3 in the morning about a fantastic, groundbreaking idea he had for getting sunburn on your feet. He wears Crocs a lot, so I was actually kind of interested. Okay, okay, so like cloth or something you can put on your feet that would keep you from getting sunburned from the holes. Socks. He was describing socks. Guys, I don't know if you can relate, but I have definitely had similar ideas. Maybe not that stupid, but certainly ideas that in the moment seemed like the absolute most brilliant thing ever. (laughs) But then of course, once you sober up, you realize how stupid it really was. But let's read a couple more. This guy says, While smoking weed with some friends, I came up with an idea for a restaurant. I called it Pound Town. The idea was that all of our specials would be centered around a pound, like 16 ounce steaks and things like that. Our signature desserts would incorporate pound cake. You get the idea. I even had an idea for the commercial. It would start off with a kid in his late teens walking up and knocking on someone's front door. He suddenly stiffens up when an older man opens the door. Uh, hi, I'm here to pick up Jenny. You must be Zach, he says somewhat sternly. Jenny's still getting ready. Come inside. She'll just be another minute. They both sit down in the living room and an awkward silence falls between them as the father eyes the young man suspiciously. So, says the father, Where exactly are you planning on taking my daughter tonight? The kid cracks a sly smile as he says, I'm taking her to Pound Town. The father ridiculously nods in approval as the advertisement kicks off showing the food and announcing the specials. (laughs) Wow, I totally envisioned this ad in my head and I must say, I saw the joke from a mile away, but other than that, it's not a bad commercial. But honestly, if there's somebody out there with the means to do this, Let's make this a reality. Just picture yourself with your best buds going to Pound Town. I'm just joking. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, here's the brilliant Garden 188 to have a fast food spot that sold frozen meals already cooked like you can order a heated up hot pocket toaster strudel, chicken pot pie, etc. I mean, did this guy just invent restaurants? Obviously not all restaurants heat up their meals, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the fast food chains do that. I'm assuming they would have a ton of stuff already prepared, frozen in the freezer, and just heat it up when somebody orders it. Another Redditor has these fantastic ideas. Mortadella Sandwich says, I have two. Number one, turning a toaster sideways and putting in mini pizzas to cook, bake them rather than microwave them so they don't end up soggy. All the crumbs from the bottom of the toaster slid onto the heating element and smoked like crazy, setting off my fire alarm at 3 a.m. I guess I never dumped the crumb tray. And number two, carbonated soup. Yeesh. I mean, for idea number one, isn't that just a mini toaster oven? And idea number two, Disgusting, but also somebody links a video saying, here's some carbonated soup for you. It's a video by Barry Lewis in what appears to be an attempt to run various things through a soda stream machine. And in this part of the video, they are using oxtail soup. After the soup is heated up, they are carbonating it. I guess I'm not exactly sure how soda streams work, but watch for yourself. Ready? Yeah. (laughs) Ah! And again. 
Oh, it really drives it down and then it comes yeah, up. Yeah. Was that a good one? Oh, yep, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's, it's like it's like it's already been digested. Yeah. Oh. Well, chin chin. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, it's, it's gone really cold. Well, it's sort of very vaguely tepid. It's not like freezing cold. Right. Oh, it really smells of oxtail soup. I wonder yeah. why. <laughs> not as bad as I was expecting, actually. No, it's like, it's quite sweet. Oh, it is fizzy. Oh, <laughs> it's got a kick, it's right? The coffee wasn't fizzy, but tasted it. Yeah. That's so weird how the coffee went more sort of dirty and mm. like, just more savoury and this has almost got more, it's brought out the sweetness in the carrots and things like that. It's actually, I mean I wouldn't want to like drink a whole glass of it or anything, but no. it's, not, it's not that unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I wouldn't say it's the optimal way to drink oxtail soup. Yes. There you have it folks, it's not the optimal way to drink oxtail soup. This video has me all kinds of confused. I'm just thinking about the awful burps you will have after consuming something like this. But let's go back and see if we have a couple more crazy stupid ideas. This comment says, a pot or bowl with holes in it so that you didn't have to use a wire mesh strainer to strain spaghetti. I had drawings and everything. People around me were like, this thing is going to make millions. Next day, dude, that's a colander. Quite the missed opportunity there. Someone else says, a food truck specializing in egg rolls the size of burritos. Hey man, this guy might be onto something. That doesn't even sound too crazy. Someone follows up saying, I once thought edible tape would be a game changer idea for when your burrito or huge egg roll rips. Just tape it back up with edible tape. Followed by, Google taco tape. Someone beat you to it. Okay, okay, we're Googling taco tape. Made from 100% organic wheat and corn. 100% natural, edible, adhesive. Well, now you know. All right, folks, we'll do one more comment for today's episode. But if you feel like you want to indulge in a lot more stupid ideas, I'll leave the link in the description down below. The Silver Cube says, sugar bags, like tea bags, but for sugar. Tea and two sugars, one tea bag, two sugar bags. As we were stoned as f my cousin holding up an empty tea bag filled with sugar and me trying to carefully tie it back up with a piece of cotton, my cousin disappointingly says, sugar cubes, what a facepalm moment. As I was reading this, I was thinking, sugar cubes, dude, come on. But hey, I'm not judging, I've been there. Someone follows up on that comment saying, Hmm, what if you made pre-sugared tea bags? Now there's an idea. What is a really stupid idea that you've had when you were drunk or high and later realized that it was not that great when you sobered up? Leave your comments down below. If you've enjoyed this episode, leave a like on this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.